Hey, it's Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com. I am working on the first car, or I don't know how the deal is going to go yet. Uh, it's been renegotiated a couple times, so we shall see how it goes. If I do any more, I don't particularly love the situation, but I am working on this Toyota Tundra. It is absolutely black, and I'm into the job a little bit, but you can see it's nice and swirled up in general, but I have removed the overspray from this door and this door and that fender. I'm working on the hood, but I want you to see how bad the hood is. You can see all that overspray. all over it well right here you don't see any because I have removed it the hood was extremely bad you can definitely see overspray there still I haven't done anything with it so I'm going to show you guys real quick how to remove overspray Check this out. All right, so I've got my Japanese clay bar. The one that I sell on detailjuice.com that I import from Japan. Check this out. So, I haven't cleaned this yet. So, clean the surface. Boom, okay. Now, I'm gonna dry the surface. All right, still kind of wet. Let that dry for a second. You can see the overspray all over it. But what I'm gonna do, you guys see the magic bottle right there. That is infinite purpose clean air diluted one part product, three parts water. You can see how bad it is. check this out I'm using IPC one to three as lube for the clay bar it's making super quick work of this overspray now it does break down your clay bar prematurely for sure you just have to work fast and neutralize the clay bar before you need it. So when you need the clay bar, you don't want the IPC to be all stuck inside it. So what I mean by that is get your work done both sides, just like this, okay? Get your work done, don't need the clay, leave it. Okay, now take that clay back to your bucket with the infinite use detail juice and rinse that IPC off before you need it. And then you will preserve the clay. It'll last a lot longer. So then take your wash towel, go back over it. I'm in a warehouse today I'm trying to be kind of quiet and then dry it again there we go I'll let that dry you will see how amazing that combo works may have to go over a couple spots again just because I went kind of fast You can see all the overspray right there. And how it's not down here anymore. A couple spots, but I'll go back over it. My point is, that removed a lot of it really fast. So, IPC is lube. Make sure you clean your clay bar before you need it. So, when you need the clay, you don't want the IPC to go inside it. 
rinse it off the side you use and you can use it again it's pliable it's not falling apart so I'm gonna continue with this Toyota how scratched up it is I'm gonna have to polish it uh, it is most likely going to get uh, force field pro after I get done polishing it with Evo all-in-one but anyway that's where we're at right now this is my fancy $35 LED light and stand I got from Wally world I would say that it does a great job of identifying defects no need for fancy lighting, that's the bottom line. Spend the money if you want. If you just got money laying around, I know a lot of the guys that are starting out in detailing don't have the luxury of money just chilling. You don't need fancy shit. Especially not all the time. But anyway, I'm gonna keep going on this overspray job. It's kind of nasty. So, put the camera down and get back to work. I'll be back in a second. I just wanted to show you guys how to get that overspray off really quick and easy. I also am going to show you a quick tip to get overspray off of plastic trim, like all this stuff. But I'll do that in a minute when I get to it. All right, guys. I know this isn't the most incredible video I've ever done. I've been really trying to crank it out, get it done. See my $35 LED spotlight from Walmart is doing a great job. Um, is it the end all be all of lights? No, but I feel like it was a very good investment and I don't feel like investing any more money would be more beneficial than this. That's kind of where I'm at. It is one man's opinion, but I've had fancy shit and I just believe that this doesn't need to be fancier than that for anything I'm doing that's for sure and that's all that matters so still have to remove the overspray from this this uh, side of the bed I've done pretty much the whole truck still have this side of the rear window and then this side of the roof and then all of the windshield to do and I'm finishing up back here. I got everything, all the spots off of the tonneau cover. I am going to show you guys that little trick I have for the plastic. You can see a little bit of overspray on that. It's not super bad, but show you guys what's up on that. But anyway, this is the progress so far. I'm uh, probably got a little bit left i just dried it off you can see how hazy it is i will be polishing this thing just a quick couple passes with evo all in one you can see a few dots still down there maybe get it or maybe not anyway it's looking awesome so i'm gonna keep cranking and get her done
All right, so I am now doing the uh, quick polish. Got my uh, fancy, super fancy, super expensive $10 LED headlamp on. It's important. You gotta, gotta be fancy to get work done. You can see how it looks right here all marred up. And that was just with a quick pass with Evo all-in-one. Like two, two quick passes. All I'm looking to do is remove this haze. That is it. Not doing paint correction, just bringing back the gloss. That is all. If you pay attention in there, you can see that there's defects all over the place, but it no longer looks like this. That's all I care about for this job. I got the shine back. Step back here, you can see the difference. It's, it's obvious. This looks like poo. This does not. So that is where we're at. And that is with the brand new Evo All-in-One Correct and Protect. So I'm actually leaving behind some quality acrylic protection as well. So I'm gonna continue around the truck with that and then I'm calling it a day on this situation. All right, so I just polished the whole truck with the uh, Harbor Freight DA, of course, the yellow Buff and, Tine, Buff and Shine Eurotech pad, and my Evo all-in-one correct and protect. Stuff works awesome. I have had a couple questions lately about the uh, Evo being hard to remove. That's because you're overusing it. So use less. You have no problem. I didn't have any issues at all. You can see how amazing it looks. So now there is a primer like stripper juice and the same primer that Infinite Finish has uh, for Infinite Force Field. I'm actually going to apply Force Field Pro on this vehicle. Uh, I am going to apply it with a dual action polisher and a white pad but i'll do a separate video on how to apply force field pro that's the uh, pro version of infinite force field um a little slicker a little glossier a little better so um the overspray removal process is all done looks awesome no overspray uh, I also, I, I did clay bar those matte wheels, believe it or not. I did have to do that, and it worked really well. You saw my little trick on the trim. It actually worked amazing. No overspray on the trim, so I'm stoked with that. If we can get some kind of focus back, that'd be amazing. Anyway, so this...
Tundra is pretty much done, except for the Infinite Force Field. Or I'm sorry, the Force Field Pro application. So I'm gonna get to that. I I gotta get out of here and go pick my kid up from school. So I'm not gonna film the application, but I will do a dedicated video to that uh, very soon. So we'll be back as soon as I'm done with everything. I'll do a final walk around. All right, Toyota Tundra all complete. No overspray left. She looks amazing. She has Force Field Pro all over her. Very happy with the results. Very happy. Looks like a brand new truck. Got all the overspray off the wheels. Man, it was everywhere. Looks amazing. So, if you need overspray removal done or if you need a general detail, if you're in the Tampa area or even the Florida area or shit, wherever, uh, I'll travel. I don't care. Uh, check out detailjuice.com. If you got questions for me, 813-846-4406. Uh, like I said, I'll be shooting some specific videos on the Force Wheel Pro application as well as I've got some paint correction videos that I'm going to be posting. Um, I didn't shoot a lot of video other than what I was doing to this truck today because I had to get it done. It's been a very long day. I got about eight hours in this truck, so um, I am done. Very happy with the outcome. Um, check out Gary Dean's Detail Juice Nation. It's a group on Facebook where we talk about only my products, my processes, and what I've got going on. Uh, but, uh, long day. All right, thanks again for watching, guys. Have a great day.